Now that we have everything we need, we can parameterize. So we can create a new type, give it a name. And you see that I can now uh, these parameters are in an alphabetical order. So if I want wanted to change uh, its order, I will just simply click on the name of the parameter and use up arrow. This time, this order I think it's more uh, easy to to use. Okay, this is my first type. I can create another type. and you get the idea of type creation. If someone will try to use it in a project, he can also duplicate type and adjust it accordingly. Let's say the actually the height will also be always 650, but we want to keep it, keep it in the parameter list in the project. So if someone uses it, wants to, uh, wants to just read the value of the height. What I will do, is to in the formula column enter 650 and you see now it will always be 650 this value is grayed out so the user will not be able to modify it in the project and it's a way of locking the value and the same if, if we don't want to so, someone to modify the value of radius tabletop I just enter 120. Okay, now of course in all the types the values will be the same because now it's driven by the formula, but I'm just showing it as a tip that we can use. We will go back to the formula because it's very powerful tool and often used uh, in the future, but for now I'm giving you the most simple formula there is, which is entering some value that will lock the, the parameter to, to a constant. That's it for this lesson. Let me know how uh, did you uh, do in this challenge and if you uh, were able to recreate this table on your own.